Hello everyone. We are off to our first drive with beta 10.3. Uh, I'm gonna flash up on screen all the change logs and um, you'll see them on Reddit, Twitter, and everywhere else. But there's a bunch. I'm so glad they include change logs now. Um, so I'm just gonna put that there and we'll just go on our way. So, so far this morning, no GPS issue. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is that um, uh, if the car detects GPS inaccuracy, it won't let you enable full cell driving. It'll look like normal autopilot and it'll flash red on top just to indicate bad GPS. And I've had that several times, unfortunately. Um, I got it on the first 10.2 drive, but I wasn't recording the other drives where it happened. Um, this 10.2 uh, was the first version to include that. So I, I think we just got lucky that the GPS is on this morning. I think it's something with my car. Um, and, and it's speculated that it has something to do with, with the car sitting for a few days. Like, I, I work from home, so I don't drive every day. So that's part of the problem, I think. Um, but yeah. Let's see how it does right here. It should go at the 45. But it actually should stay down. See, it shouldn't keep on speeding up right here. Let's see how it handles this turn. It's coming in too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and snapshot that. I think the sun made it not see the curve very well. Ooh, this is improved. Well, currently. I think, nah. Okay, that's not improved right there. It might be this car, this was here yesterday. But it didn't do that yesterday on 10.2. Let's see how it gets on the highway automatically, everything automatic. Still slow merges on the highway. Okay, that's gonna be a disengagement. Uh, it didn't do that in 10.2. 10.2 fixed the swerve on the highway. And if I kept on letting it swerve, it would've swerved into that car right there. So that needs to be fixed and will be fixed with single stack. So we won't get a zero disengagement drive on this one. I had that uh, twice with 10.2, a zero disengagement drive on this route. Uh, and then and that's, I didn't have this issue, so that's that's why. Uh, just wanted to thank everyone watching, uh, and all my subscribers, uh, and if you're new here, um, I appreciate you watching. This channel is definitely growing. I appreciate all the new people, all the new um, typers down below in the comments. Uh, I appreciate having a uh, discussion with everyone down below. And I'm glad to just be here and provide content for you guys. to be new um, it seems to be turned the, the blinker on a little bit earlier on the highway which is good I used to like, you know think ahead of okay I'm gonna change his lane was turn the blinker on as I'm passing the car so then it doesn't look like I just turn it on and just sit here in the lane I'm like why aren't you getting over so that's that seems to be an improvement one thing I wanted to look at here and okay so this is new with this version. This that's improved. So you see how that car got in front of it? my car should have been a little gave it a little bit more room, but it didn't jam on the brakes. It was just slow. It, you could feel it decelerate, but you could it didn't just jam on the brakes uh, and like make a harsh sudden movement, which is really good. That's what a human would do. A human probably would have slowed a little bit sooner because it, it would know that car is turning into my lane because of the blinker. But this, uh, that seems to be improved too. But what I'm saying, um, you got chill mode is, is average and assertive uh, in terms of how the, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead. This should get over here because of these car oncoming cars. And I think I'm starting to catch up to this car right here. So that's something that my car needs to be able to see in advance is that there's cars merging on the highway and then it needs to get over and maybe get back over here assuming I'm not going to catch up to this car which I am at uh, 72 also that speed limit is wrong um, it's not 55 on this road it's 65 
I just, yeah. But uh, that speed limit is definitely wrong. That's new. The map data keeps on getting worse in this area. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's never showed 55 before. I'm going to have to look back on my other videos. But I'm almost positive that was always 65 here. And that's, um, and it might be because of the construction further up the road is why it got set to 55. But um, it definitely should say 65 right there. Yeah, back to here. So, medium follow distance and may perform rolling stops. Not exactly sure what rolling stops mean, but um, we're gonna try average. I think chill will probably be more of my driving style, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not. It, it really depends because for me, it, it uh, I go back and forth between. Depending on, we have so many blind corners and turns around here because of hills, uh, it, that sometimes the acceleration of the car is really nice so you can get out and feel safe, that you're going to make it not get in the way of traffic. And then other times, like, there's no reason for them to just fly out. No reason at all. So, we'll see if that will make any difference. We'll try average first, see how it goes. about to get off the highway here one thing I wanted to note back when we got on the highway is that harsh Sun is probably what again caused the disengagement so this is a should have break sooner but this was a good break and it should get over again I think still a little bit sooner I mean it does a good job it's hard for me to explain until I can get it on video of what's happening of why it should get over sooner several times I've had trucks tailgate me and you know, other cars tailgate me to where Okay, I can't even see. Okay. That, um, and they've even laid the horn on me um, for not getting over soon enough, even though it got over just like it did right there. The sun, I think, really affects its confidence on um, getting over it. It does seem improved over previous versions. 10.2 seemed to be a, as good, if not a tiny bit better, but of course. Every part of the day has different conditions with sunlight and shadows and everything else that that very well could be. Oh, no, okay. That's not where I want to go. That's not the navigation I want to go. Also, that means the routing issue is still there. It wanted to, I don't know if you saw the navigation, it wanted to turn right there for the turn at this stoplight. It's not, not correct. It's been that way ever since version 9 and it's still wrong. Um, let's go ahead and navigate back here. So this is my test route one, which is why I renavigated that. It needs to go that direction. This seems improved. I love that there's still micro improvements they're making for like coming up to lights. It could be also it's going 35 versus 40, uh, but it def definitely seems smoother to come to a stop behind the cars at the stoplight. And of course, acceleration up to speed is also smoother as well. Okay, so once we get past this light, we need to start slowing down for the 20 mile an hour speed limit, which never happens. This is what I always have to do is manually slow it down over this bridge. And of course, in, that, in the stoplight, you can tell by the brake lights, the stoplight is red, even though I couldn't see it. And then, um, of course, they need to slow down for that. And I'm not sure why it turned the blinker on right there. I still doubt it can read no turn on red. So, unfortunately, it turned green, so we're not going to get a disengagement here for that. I'm seeing a little bit hesitant on that turn again. This turn seems to, like, every other update seems to make it a little bit confused. Almost messed up there. It shouldn't have got that far over. I know the lane line suck, but that's not an excuse. Personally, I wanted to go ahead and get over in this lane. Especially there's no one behind me. We have to get in the left lane far up ahead, and this is just the easier lane to be in. Still trying to break for that yellow, flashing yellow right there.
it seems to be yeah stock wipe behavior seems to be further improved with this version seems to glide to a stop a little bit better okay it seems to start up a little bit quicker at the stop light which is good and good acceleration and we'll go up to the 35 speed limit here it seems maybe it adjusts for speed limit slightly quicker now like as soon as it gets to the sign instant change so I thought this version showed bars on top of the car for police cars, um, but it didn't show the one that just passed. So maybe it's just not very accurate or good yet. So it should turn on the blinker, it doesn't. It just kind of glides over. It does get in the correct lane. This, the left lane is the correct lane here. And we have a flash in yellow. But now it turn, turns on the blinker and we're good to go. So I'm gonna give it some confidence just to tell it you're good. Okay, go on. Okay, the only reason I let it continue doing that is because there wasn't a car behind me. That was the first time it's ever had that weird type of hesitancy there. Uh, I disengaged because we're turning right here, but this is not the end of this route. So we have only had one disengagement on this route so far. Back on the road, everyone. Okay, phantom brake there. We're gonna see if this version has improved phantom braking on two lane roads. It was pretty bad at 10.2. That was one of the worst things about 10.2 is that it phantom braked a lot on two, uh, two lane roads like this. Okay, you can tell it's already starting to slow down for that light. That's definitely in a, hey, I'm holding the wheel and I'm jerking it. That, <laughs> do not take that out of context. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, the light, uh, stop lights definitely seem to be improved on this version. Um, that's the main thing so far off this first drive that seems to be really n noticeable, if you will, improved. It wasn't like super crazy uh, improvements. Again, this is the two step forward, one step back type of movement. Oh, no, don't. Okay. No, okay. I'm not even. No. Um, I'm tired of it. With it. I, I think it's the reason why it made that mistake is because I let it do that last time. The first time it made that mistake, I was caught off guard, to be honest. I was like, well, why is it going in this lane? Okay. So, obviously, this is um, not fixed from the previous two versions. 10.0 didn't do this. 10.1 started this, and 10.2 also did tried to do it not quite as bad as 10.1 and 10.3 uh, is worse than 10.2 on that thing it keeps on going into the turn lanes they've changed the confidence level when it comes to how the lines are displayed and it just keeps on going into the turn lanes and it's breaking here for no reason so i mean it's going to do the same thing here i'm going to disengage used to stay over on this side of the road so as you can see it doesn't mark it very well because obviously on, on the screen there, on the video there's no lines on the road so obviously this uh, drive was not great 10.2 was better on this particular drive now I'm gonna be driving all the way up to Asheville and back on my normal test loop a whole bunch of videos for all this week so if you want to see those I would love it that you would um, subscribe and take take a look with me um, this seemed to be improved a little bit more confidence getting in and this seems to be improved getting into this lane so that's the end of this test route right here everyone uh, again I the lights are improved it seems that left turn was slightly improved a little bit more smoothness again routing issues still there uh, poor Ed, that's just poor mapping poor mapping in my area um, and I, I don't know any way around it besides without the map data getting fixed they rely too heavily on map data Ooh. well hopefully that didn't get a hard break trying to not kill that squirrel right there but um if you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. Uh, I will be driving to Target next and see how that drive works. And off to Asheville from there.
Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.